Well, the Browns back at it here in Berea, getting ready for the Falcons, a bonus day coming off of their long weekend after the Thursday night win over the Steelers. So what better time to do a Hey Mary Kay? We got three questions here from our Football Insider subscribers. Let's get right to it. Billy from Kansas. Hey Mary Kay, through week three, Jacoby Brissett is ninth in the NFL and QBR, while Baker Mayfield is 32nd. Would the Browns be 0-3 with Baker? They possibly could be. I mean, Jacoby Brissett has done a phenomenal job the last two weeks. I think he's exceeded everyone's expectations. He hasn't turned the ball over. He's managed the game incredibly well, and he's playing winning football. That's exactly what the Browns needed during these 11 games. And as you mentioned, I've been checking those numbers too, and it hasn't been lost on me that Baker's all the way down at the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, and look, the formula is simple, right? Run the football, make the passes when they're there, and don't turn the ball over, and that's what Jacoby has been, has been doing. Scott Mandel from Los Angeles. Hey, Mary Kay, after watching Brissett over the past three games and seeing how crazy the league has been, have you reconsidered your predictions about the Browns' season? Well, you know what? Actually, if he continues on this way, and if some of the things that have been going on in the NFL go in the Browns' favor, there's been some injuries. I mean, Justin Herbert is not himself right now. Mac Jones is probably going to, could potentially sit out the Patriots game in a couple of weeks with an ankle injury. Uh, Joey Bosa's hurt. I mean, there are some things going on right now uh, that could work in the Browns' favor. And if Jacoby Brissett continues to play the way that he's playing, if he can hand over over six victories to Deshaun Watson when he comes back for the final six games. They can be right in the thick of it. And I will say that right now, uh, you know, I think that seems possible. OK, last one here. Don Welsh from Mesa, Arizona. Hey, Mary Kay, what can they do to fix the problems with special teams right now during the season? Considering how poorly they've done, uh, Dan is a little bit concerned that they could lose some games because of their struggling special teams. You know what? It's funny he should ask that because I asked that very question <laughs> of Kevin Stefanski today. It's got to be a point of emphasis. They have to be paying attention to detail. You cannot have 12 men on the field. You cannot be not knowing how to recover an onside kick or going 0 for 2 almost uh, on onside kicks. They were lucky that they got that one out of bounds. Um, but I mean, this is just not what you expect from this special teams unit this year. Even Cade York missing two extra points, both times hitting the right upright. Uh, you know, that's bizarre considering that we have seen him make 68 yard kicks, 70 yard kicks in that very stadium and the weather's not even bad yet. So they've got to go back to the drawing board on special teams. It has to be an asset, not a liability. Uh, they've got to keep working, uh, you know, the, the punt return situation, maybe with Chester Rogers now. But whatever the case may be, uh, I don't think Kevin Stefanski is going to tolerate bad special teams play much longer. All right, Browns hit the road for the second time this season to face the Falcons on Sunday. Uh, they began preparations here today, and then it's into a normal week. Starting on Wednesday, we will cover it all at cleveland.com slash Browns.